Hello everyone. Today I want to show you an instant non-locational zero-tick pulse generator. First I want to show why it's not trivial to make one. So there's this contraption over here you might know that also creates a zero-tick pulse uh, yeah, instantly. But the problem with that one is that it would always generate a second signal. Uh, let me just slow down the game a bit. I'm using Cubitech's uh, tick speed mod where you also could move at normal speed while the game is slowed down. So yeah, you get an instant zero-tick pulse. The problem is when the block comes back then you get a second pulse. So this is yeah useful if you want to send a block over uh, instantly over a thousand blocks but yeah, generally not too useful in other contractions. So then there's the second concept um, that's um, locational. So if you would, uh, as this uh, piston sends uh, for zero tick that uh, redstone block over here, then this redstone dust line up the updates this normal piston and yeah, instantly sends the block back. So you get a zero tick pulse here. But the problem with this one is that the redstone, as soon as this uh, piston is updated, the yeah the redstone dust line just dies. And depending on, on the update order, uh, yeah, it works only in certain locations. And let me just show you. Yeah, only in this location. Uh, yeah, it works. You might think this redstone dust would update before this one, but yeah, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, so this is also yeah, not too useful. Then there's this concept uh, where you would send a redstone block away after a normal block. So you could get a zero tick pulse here because the yeah, redstone block is sent away a second, um, but it doesn't work that way. So you don't get a zero tick pulse here. Uh, you could make it work by adding a second piston here. So you would butt power this piston and instantly update it with this piston so you get your zero tick pulse. The, but the problem with this one is still that it's locational. If, you would, if I would power it from the other side, as you can see, nothing happens. And if you're unlucky, it would even power it from the yeah, right side. Uh, still this redstone dust can update before that one and yeah, doesn't work. So the solution I came up with to create the non-locational instant zero-tick pulse generator is adding a second iteration of block updates. So this piston that is uh, powered directly would update this piston that is butt powered and after that would update this piston here, so in the second iteration. And that works, uh, all, uh, works always. Even if we power it from here, also works. And to show you that it's really non-locational, I even could yeah, power this piston with a comparator. So um, you might think yeah, the comparator updates that piston second and the repeater yeah, updates this piston first. But still, it works. So let me just show you. Yep, get your zero-tick pulse. Um, yeah, this contraption is also useful if you you would need in a situation where you need a, a zero tick pulse after three game ticks of delay after the initial signal. So you could send in uh, two redstone blocks here uh, that are attached to slime blocks, and pistons always update uh, three uh, game ticks after or, or react uh, three game ticks after a redstone block is sent in. So this would create a zero tick pulse after three game ticks. Not too useful in a lot of situations, but for example I needed to make my tree farms faster, so I made the birch tree farm 10% faster with a lot of that technology and also the universal tree farm is a lot faster now. Um, uh, the normal mode is 25% faster and the acacia mode uh, even 50%. So yeah, that will be by ne next two videos just to show you those. Yeah, that's it for today. I hope uh, yeah, that was useful for some of you. Goodbye.